Hi, good evening traders. Happy Thursday. Uh, it's a long weekend ahead, so this will I'll make it a short video. Uh, we had a nice range in SPY today. Uh, ended up trading a lot of TVX, uh, ended up trading some SPY, along with some low float movers, which was MBio, FBio, and uh, NVCN. So overall, pretty exciting day. Uh, what happened in SPYs was we, we were sort of weak yesterday in the after hours. And um, so we gapped down pre-market. Look at this at 4 a.m. We were much, we are trading so much lower. Uh, then the 8:30 data came out. But even even before that, right? We had a nice sharp pullback from 288 to 289. Then the 8:30 data comes out. I think it was retail data and some unemployment numbers, adjusting for the Friday holiday. And we sort of squeezed right into the open. So my first trade off of that was as looking at this 290, look at these over under 290 happening in SPY. Uh, I did not show this, but I did end up going long TVIX at the same time. So we had a, we got a nice wash in TVIX, a uh, nice rally in TVIX and right around here at 1045, we switched uh, long SPY and some short TVIX. So that ended up being a pretty good trade on the day. Let me quickly switch over to TVIX for you. So this was right about here, right? So uh, 290 on SPY was corresponding with the $20 level in TVIX. So I ended up getting long uh, 20, 2001, 2002. Got a nice squeeze, sold into the 43. Uh, sold some actually 33 and 43. Uh, got out of it. To, got like another squeeze and uh, this is the 1045 that I was talking about like a nice double top in TVIX uh, which was corresponding with a nice bottoming out in SPY uh, got short in the 70s 72 75 area and we covered I think this was the one where I did mess up on the exits I did get out really quick I took some 50s and some 41s and that was it I was done with the trade by this point uh, and I just left so much more on the table. This was definitely something I could have got back in again, re-attacked it. Uh, I did have a small long in the 2020 area, uh, sold into the 50, but that, that's about it. Like pretty much uh, TVX, the range just kept getting narrower um, and there was not much follow through at this point. But overall pretty decent trades in those two. Uh, but MBio and FBio, the crazy stocks, you got to go with those two. So MBio had the breaking news after hours and FBio uh, is the parent company that holds a substantial stake in MBio as well. So it was more like not exactly a sympathy play, but it was more like uh, if the if the smaller company is going up, then the parent company is going to make money off of it. Uh, so MBio yesterday, 850 was a crucial level in the after hours. 850 kept soaking. I think close to 100,000 shares in the after hours. And to uh, this is right, look at this 850 area, right? So 850, so close to 100,000 shares. He'd just show up with size, he'd just hit there. He, he was just sitting there and he was just soaking all the shares you could give him. And squeezed all the way to 12 bucks in the after hours. So what I did do was, um, 850 in, in MBio was corresponding with 250 in FBio. So yesterday after hours had a nice long in this of the 250 level because same again 250 was soaking everything you could just sell for any size and he would just take it up so what i did do was end up buying 252 253 56 and just kept trading all the way till pretty much eight o'clock on this one got out right at 275 277 on this so coming in i had i already had a couple of levels in mind which was 850 for uh, M bio and 250 for F bio, and surprisingly, right at the seven o'clock, which is when I started watching it, we started waking into this um, 250 level from the way from on the way down. So we pushed down into 225. Now we start topping out in that 250. So I did already have like a short bias coming in. Um, I did put on some shorts in F bio in the pre market, uh, trading off of M bio, but. At this point, I felt that the correlation was way off. Uh, I had I had some figures in mind. I, I did some calculations after hours, quick, uh, 
reading some filings, reading some numbers, how much stake is owned by FPIO. And these two were just completely off. Like FPIO is just making, look at these highs, right? Like lower highs. And MBIO just kept making like higher highs corresponding uh, between 8 and 9.30. So it was sort of a uh, sort of a tough correlation between these two. If you were, if you were solely trading that spread, it was a tough uh, decision for you. Uh, but MBIO sort of topped out in the morning. It topped out uh, VIX. And at that point, I ended up getting short uh, FBIO in the 236, 237 area. Uh, had some quick covers in the 230, 32, um, and then started uh, getting back in again. And then it was just trading around the core. So I just get back in the in the uh, on the wick, and then I had my final covers in the two area. So I, I got out for two thirds of my position just into that 220, and the final covers were exactly at two. Uh, what I did do was get back in again, uh, short at the 198, 199, and quickly covered the 193. And uh, tried a few shorts in the 175 area. I did have one long, so I had I had a short 175. Uh, we broke, we tested 170 a few bit, showed up, uh, sort of took it off. Tried a long 177, uh, took off 74, 73. So a couple of uh, losers in this range, getting chopped up a little bit. So at this point, I just decided there's not enough meat left on the bone. Let me go back to the big monster stock, which is MBIO. And I got a few nice clean moves in that one. So again on this, what I did do was I did try shorting it right off the gate. I ended up shorting 775, 777, and I had my stops just about 825. So I only had a few, uh, I, I probably had like a fifth of my position because Firstly, the range on this could have could have been massive. This could have easily squeezed back to 12 bucks. So risk management was definitely my first uh, perspective, like not risking a whole lot without knowing the range on the day. So I ended up losing about 50 cents uh, on my startup position. Uh, once we topped out, I know the stock was getting pumped. Once that started happening, uh, the stock didn't really follow through. We got, and I ended up shorting 877, 875, which was right around here. And I got a nice cover all the way down to 820s. Uh, this was my first biggest trade of the morning. Had some decent size. Uh, my stop was 926 at this point. So I, I ended up making like a 1.1.5 half 2R. But this was a much higher probability trade where it already topped out, wicked out. And all of those trying to now push the buyer up, trying to buy the 9, 9, 10, 9, 15, didn't really work out. Uh, so this was, this ended up being like a decent short for me in the morning. I did try a few more shorts late day. The only problem with this was it was getting bought up through the 580, 590, and it was getting squeezed up. So I, I remember this was uh, an instance where I did end up shorting 615, uh, covered some, got back in again as as it held six bucks. So I ended up shorting 5.95. Didn't get my covers, so took like a small winner on this. And then um, I was flat at this point, but we just got a massive squeeze. Um, decided to stay away for a little bit, and this is when we finally got back in again. Uh, most of us were watching it on the desk. Uh, as we saw the stuff into 6.30, uh, had a couple of good shots. So first one was short 6.05, added 6.04. Uh, we got really tied in the 590 area, so ended up adding 594 and got a nice wash. Covered everything in the 565, 67, 568 area. So this was the other second big trade in M MBIO and ends up being my best stock on the day, followed by FBIO, which was decent, DVIX. Couple of other names I can throw around is MBRX, uh, which had a massive bid in the pre-market out at 105. So that guy sort of kept, uh, kept propping up the bids, kept pushing it up. Uh, but I did get a nice real nice uh, short of the 115, 114, covered everything in the 10, 109, 10, uh, 108, 109, no, 110 and 109. So this was it, just one big trade in MBRX, that was it. I missed this entire move because I was watching a whole lot of earnings names as well. And the other good trade was NVCN. And just as we were doing the recap in the office just a few minutes back, 
uh, Najib actually pointed out that this is exactly how PRPO and FLKS also stopped right at the open 930. So NVCN ended up getting short 62-63. Uh, got a nice wash, covered everything in the 50. I actually I was out 59 half and 58 half on this. Uh, just kept watching it. Uh, the bids kept pushing, uh, pushing it higher in the 61, and then 61s never really held. Uh, so I didn't have the best entry. I ended up shorting 60, 59 half, and 59 uh, for my full size. I had a decent position, and I covered everything. Uh, versus 57 and 56 half left a little bit on the table but uh, I think I think I, d I wasn't really comfortable holding the entire position into it so I ended up taking off uh, all of that for like a three and a half four cent gain on this one so that's it uh, guys a lot more symbols that I ended up trading but I'm gonna keep it a short quick video thanks again for watching feel free to like share comment and this is Krishna Joshi with seven points capital enjoy the long weekend